What's up everyone, Justin with GTK Apple here and today I've got an overview of my favorite third party YouTube application. And it is an app called Jasmine. So as you know right now there isn't actually a YouTube application made for the iPad. So this is definitely a great alternative instead of having to use a web browser. And as you know there is an iOS application made by YouTube for the iPod and iPhone. However, it, for those who have an iPhone 5 or an iPod Touch 5th generation with the larger 4 inch display it's not optimized so you won't be able to take advantage of the full screen videos. So this is definitely a great alternative. I have to say I'm very impressed by the way this application has performed. It's actually very easy to pick up and the layout and dashboard looks very great and all your functions are easily available to you. So the first thing I'm going to demonstrate is search. You just go ahead and search a video like you would expect. Hit done and the interface is very easy to get used to, very easy to pick up and use. It gives you all your options, shows a number of views, the date and you scroll through and scroll through your videos vertically. And as you can see, the layout is very nicely designed. I think it's pretty cool. And just go ahead and show you guys the menus here. Here are just my favorite videos. It also shows the duration of each video here. And from first thoughts, the overall layout is very nicely done. I'm just gonna go ahead and go through this and show you guys more of the options that are available in terms of watching videos, commenting, rating. But for now, I'm just gonna scroll through all the menus. Now we've got to the subscription feed. It shows you all your channels that you have subscribed to. And if you want to view a particular author, you just go ahead and click his video. Let's go ahead and tap on iCryptic there. And it shows all his videos, recent videos listed in order. So you can easily just scroll through the videos and if you want to see the latest videos, your subscription feed, just go ahead and tap that. And once again, it is nicely presented to you in a vertical form. And now I'm going to show you guys how the commenting system, how it works. As you can see down there, there is the description itself, it gives you some options. I'm going to show you that after I show you the comment system. It also shows the add to playlist, so on, and you can see the video right there, as well as some other videos made by the same author. The commenting right there, scroll through all the comments if you like, and you are also able to leave a comment from this application. So we'll just do that. Duncan33303 there, awesome YouTuber. Let's just scroll back. And you also have the options to share the video, very nicely laid out as you can see. And below you can also leave a rating, but for some reason it's in the star rating system. I don't really get it, but oh well. Just go ahead and hit the plus on the top. And you can see it also gives you the share and favorite options, so on, just like you would expect from a typical YouTube application. You can also set the brightness from the home screen, which is great. And settings gives you quite a bit of options here. Once again, set the brightness. You can also have a night theme, which kind of gives you a layout like Android, a darker theme, which looks pretty cool as well. It also lets you pick your playback quality, which is something I really like. It lets you have your preferred video quality on Wi-Fi or on data, depending on what you would like, depending on your speeds as well, because for me, I have pretty good Wi-Fi, so I, I just went for the 720p, but if you have slower Wi-Fi, you can have it consistently playing at 480p, depending on your speeds. And like I said, this layout is very, very nice. We just scroll through it horizontally, and it gives you all your options, and you scroll down to see the videos in a list form. So thanks for watching. This is just a review of Jasmine for the iOS devices. Please remember to hit the like button below and subscribe. I'll see you in my next video.